guys, it's Stephanie, and in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a party-proof makeup look. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I do as well as some tips and tricks that I incorporate. So yeah, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below, and make sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Up. So everything I use in this video will be down in the description bar down below, so make sure you check it out. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump right in to this makeup look. So to start off this party proof makeup look, I'm going to take my primer. Primer is super, super important. The primer I like to use when I know I'm going to go out and party and sweat and all that good stuff is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer. I swear by this stuff. This is like what my third one. I just bought a new one because my second one just finished. If you are more oily, then I would probably suggest using Milk of Magnesia if you're comfortable with that. A lot of my friends who are like super, super oily, they swear by Milk of Magnesia. So give that a try. Um, I also like to mix it with this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is like a deluxe sample size I got and I've literally used it till the wheels fell off. So a little bit left. I like to mix them together. I find that like together, they're like the perfect primer. Since I have like normal to dry skin, um, I find that the Becca one can be a little bit too dry, but when I mix them together, it's like the perfect concoction. Um, but yeah, so I use more of the Becca primer and then I just add a tiny bit of the Smashbox primer just to mix it in. But together, they create such a flawless base. Like, it's actually crazy. And don't forget your neck. I'm one of those people who, I don't really sweat on my face, but my neck, my neck be sweating. So I like to add like extra primer to like my neck area. Another thing I like to do is set my primer. I'm going to be taking the one and only Laura Mercier powder to set my primer. You can use whatever setting powder you normally use. I'm just using Laura because I find that I don't know my setting powder. She lasts the longest um, when I'm like going out and stuff. So I'm just taking a sponge and setting that primer. Once I apply the setting powder everywhere, I just take a brush to just really buff it into my skin and get rid of any excess powder. So I'm going to quickly fill in my brows. So what I like to use to fill in my brows especially when I need my makeup to last all day, is the one and only Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This stuff, I think it's like waterproof too. Um, it's so good, like it literally does not come off. Like you have to work to get this to come off. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows off camera and then we can get back to regular scheduled programming. All right, so my brows are on, as you can see. Another tip I like to do to make my brows last all night long or all day long is by using eyelash glue as a brow gel and you're probably like girl what but let me tell you this trick i think i saw it on twitter or something and it's literally revolutionized my makeup like just take a clear brow gel and just like very lightly apply just a little bit of lash glue to your brows and then before it dries use a spoolie to work it through and when I tell you, your brow hairs are going to be laid all night long. Like, it's literally such a good trick. It's like magic. So for foundation, when I want my makeup to last all night long, I like to opt for my Lancome uh, Taunt and Dull or my Maybelline 24 Hour Wear. These are both 24 Hour Wear foundations, so they're both long wear. They're both super full coverage. I love them both. My Lancome one is um, in my winter shade, so I'm going to be using my Maybelline one because your girl got a tan after Cancun. And this stuff is the truth. Don't let anybody make you think that you need to spend $50 on the foundation. This stuff is like, what, $12 and it's just as good and it lasts all night long. Trust me, this foundation, it does oxidize and it does adjust to my skin tone. So I know I look really crazy. <laughs> On camera right now. This is why I never use this foundation on camera because it always looks so crazy. But I promise when it sets in, it matches. I promise you. Once that's applied, the concealer I'm going to be using is the NARS Radiant and Creamy Concealer. This stuff is the truth. Um, such a good concealer. Doesn't crease. Works really well. 
And I'm just going to be applying this, you know, in all the concealing spots. I'm sure you guys know what those are by now. But under my eyes, some of my chin, and then down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to let this dry down while I wash my Beauty Blender sponge. And then I'll be back to blend it out. At parties, I like when my under eye is like really bright. Not super bright to the point where it looks like I have flashback, but like I just feel like a really highlighted under eye when I go to parties. So I'm gonna take this Tarte Tape Shape Concealer in Tan Sand. I'm just gonna dot just a little bit right on top. Just a little bit. I'm only putting it under my eyes. Um, and I'm gonna blend that out right on top of the NARS concealer just to give my eyes that very, very like highlighted that I like. I'm going to take my Good Sis Laura Mercier once again and I'm going to use that to set under my eyes as well as my nose and my chin area. Pretty much everywhere where I apply the concealer. Just re-blending that out to make sure there's no creases. And then we're going to take Miss Laura on the other side of my sponge and set. And then I just like to press Miss Laura right in. If you have oilier skin, then I would recommend baking, but since I don't have oily skin, pressing it in is like good enough for me. But if you have like oily skin or like sweating prone skin, then I would let it bake for like a good amount of time. The only part of my face that does get super oily is my nose. So this, um, I'm gonna let it sit on my nose. I'm not gonna press it into my nose. Handle me. Who go handle me? Thinking he's a play, he's a member of the team. I'm just dusting off any excess powder that was left. To contour, I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty Match 6 Trio. This is not the one I want. Yes, this is the one. I'm gonna be taking this one in Espresso. Homegirl is literally like almost done. I love this stuff. I just ordered a new one. Should be coming on Friday. <laughs> but I use this to contour. I've been using this for like two years. I love this stuff so much. I'm just going to obviously leave it like this because it's cute this way. <laughs> Psych, I gotta blend it out. And as you can see, she's a cream, but she does dry down matte, so she does not budge. She stays right where I put her. I'm going to set that with the Black Radiance Contour Palette. I'm gonna take this very, very dark contour shade and just set miss fenty because she has a cream once that's done i'm going to take a smaller brush and do the exact same thing except when i do it on my nose now i'm going to dust the powder off my nose now the next step is you want to set your entire face i like to use laura again miss laura i love her but this is the one in medium deep so this is the brown skin girl shade <laughs> Big fluffy brush. This one is from Real Techniques. And then I just dab some powder on there, dust off that excess into the cap, and then just like that. And then I just blend it everywhere. And literally, this step has saved my makeup. Like, this step is probably the most essential step of this whole tutorial. So make sure you use a powder to set your foundation and set everything down. A setting powder, not any powder. I use a setting powder. For blushy blush, 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 I'm gonna be taking this blush palette by the name I should not say because the brand is canceled. But I still have a lot of their products that I bought before they were canceled, so I'm still gonna use them. Um, but I'm just using this orange tone blush. It's like my favorite blush ever, and just applying her onto my cheeks. Now I'm going to set my face. I'm gonna be using the best setting spray on the market miss morphe continuous setting mist now this spray i will say that she bomb for getting rid of all the powder getting rid of you know a cakey look like she gives you that flawless airbrush skin like look however for longevity wise she's great but if you're going to a party i would not only use her i would follow up with miss all nighter herb decay now the name is in the title i mean hello all nighter like duh if you want your makeup last all night 
bomb but i like to use both of these when i go out to parties or if i need my makeup to last all day the two of them together are unstoppable my makeup looks so great and it also lasts all night long so but first i use the morphe one to highlight i'm gonna be using miss jackie ina's ex artist couture's um le peach i love this highlight it is probably one of my favorite highlighters in the entire universe I like Ariana Cupid's bow, so I apply a lot of highlighter on my Cupid's bow area. Now that that's on, it's time to really lock and load everything with some All Nighter spray. So I'm not gonna be doing any eyeshadow today because I don't feel like it. <laughs> but normally when I'm going to parties, I don't wear eyeshadow anyways. But when I do, um, I don't really do anything, you know, spectacular. You can go look at one of my older tutorials if you want to see like what I do to my eyes. Um, but for mascara. I'm gonna use a waterproof one. I mean, duh. So I'm gonna take this one. It's the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. It's an iconic mascara. It's waterproof. And I'm just gonna use this to prep my lashes. So for lashes, I'm just gonna be using these um, lashes. I honestly couldn't tell you the name. I got these lashes for Christmas, so I have no idea where they're from or the name of them. But this is what they look like. Um, so yeah, I like to wear very, very extra lashes when I go out. Um, so yeah, I like them to be long and like very cute and pretty. And the lash glue I use is the Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. It's the one that comes in like the little green box. Yeah, I've been using this eyelash glue for a long time. It lasts for me. Uh, I know some people use hair glue for like longer wear. I tried that and I personally didn't like using hair glue so I just stick to this stuff. But yeah, works pretty well for me. So if you're looking for a good eyelash glue that lasts for a long time, try this one out. So I'm gonna pop all my lashes off camera because for some reason when I turn on the camera, it just makes it a million times harder. So I'm gonna pop these on off camera and then I'm gonna be back for the lips and to finish off this look. So my lashes are on. As you can see and I changed and I got my hair on too and now to finish off this look you want of course a nice matte lip gloss you can use gloss but if you want something that will last all night then I would obviously recommend a matte lip I'm gonna be using this Morphe um, matte lip in the shade true story so it's like this really pretty nude color and I would recommend something matte especially something that is a liquid lipstick that dries down matte um, these tend to stay on like when you're drinking things and things like that You don't want to use something that's not matte because as soon as you drink something or your lips hit a cup then like All the lipstick's gone <laughs> So you want to use something that will dry down matte and will last you throughout the party I'm just gonna line my lips. So my lips are lined I'm gonna use that finger To apply and this is the final look yeah. One thing that I noticed that I recently started using um, is this little portable fan that I got from Amazon. You just like recharge it and like I'll link it down below also. It looks like this and literally like having this in my purse or like my wallet or whatever has been so convenient. Um, it, of course is a fan so cool you off as well as it make sure you don't sweat on all that good stuff. So yeah, this is probably like the number one thing if you're extra like me get your hands on one of these hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and comment down below some tips and tricks that you use to help your makeup last all night i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.